Hey, thanks for joining us for another episode of Wednesday Chats. I'm Sean. And I'm Eileen. And today we're going to be talking about why it matters and how you can get in your Bible every single day. So um, a lot of times if you end up in a church and it's not something you're a part of, mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of things that are foreign there are rhythms that are unfamiliar mm -hmm. um and then maybe someone will tell you to do some of those things uh -huh. like like we take communion every week and someone might just like start saying like oh you should take communion and you really don't have any idea behind mm -hmm. the whys it. of it yeah and one of those things is that maybe you'll hear from someone about like having a quiet time mm -hmm. or a personal time with god or daily devotionals or whatever those mm -hmm. things are um whatever language we use so um what what are we talking about and why does that matter to someone who's trying to follow Jesus? Well, oh sure, make me answer this question. Um, I'd say the first thing that came to my mind was uh, we emulate Jesus as part of our culture of Christianity. Um, our number one goal is to emulate him and he knew the scriptures. He applied them to his life. He used them during tough times of his life. Uh, he he used them for correction, for teaching, for encouraging. And so uh, if it was good enough for the Son of God to know the scriptures, then I'd say that's a good role model for us. But also, um, we believe that the scripture is, is a supernatural thing, and so it is a tool that God uses to um, shape us and mold us and um, show us ourselves, correct us, give us guidance for our everyday life. And so it's basically our handbook for lack of a better term. It's our handbook of Christianity, of the how-tos and the whys and the history behind the whys and how to look forward, how to look back. So it's our manual for life, basically. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a really important, unchanging mm -hmm. uh, way that God communicates to Foundational. us. Foundational. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, culture and leadership and movements and theologies change mm -hmm. um but that book doesn't and yes. we keep bringing ourselves back to it because because how can we know what god's asking us to do if we don't spend time in or no, even know about him if we yeah, don't spend time say that. yeah too i think in, probably the number one thing is you got to know god yeah and it is a it is the way to know him is yeah. to read the word about him and yeah. everything about him yeah so um so what is it what, what are some tools that some, if someone wanted to spend some time each day, and it doesn't have to be long, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, sometimes it's two or three minutes. I know some people that um, uh, don't even do it in a traditional sense in terms of reading it. They do audio versions mm -hmm. kind of stuff, mm -hmm. um, but maybe it's 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. What are some go-to suggestions for ways people can get into scripture each day? Well, there's no one really correct way to yeah. do it. The point is just to do it, is just to get into it. And so um, it becomes a lifestyle. God talked about in the Old Testament when he was first setting it up with the Israelites and teaching them how to be his people. He said, you need to write it on your forehead, you need to put it on your doorpost, you need to just constantly immerse yourself in his word. Mm -hmm. So however that goes for you, like you said, with podcasts or whatever, you also have the world available to you on devotionals that yeah. are day-to-day -day things that are set up that are already pre-chunked out for you, and it has a little scripture verse for you to read, or you go in your Bible and read a little further in whatever it was listing, and then it has some thoughts, and they're all, they're geared toward everybody, yeah. mothers, teenagers, college <laughs> students, yeah, yeah. old people, you know, I mean, they, they do the whole wealth of things. One of my personal favorite devotionals that I have been through numerous times it never gets old um, it's always fresh is my utmost for his highest by Oswald Chambers he wrote his wife uh, wrote his teachings down at a Bible college and they it was a big book and then they condensed it down into a daily devotional and that's the one I'm talking about uh, super great super super great and there's all kinds of good ones I'm sure yeah. you have your own favorites too well I was gonna suggest I mean that's like I think that's the the the, the classic mm -hmm. the Western American classic is is my most first highest and I mean it it's it takes what if you're a slow reader it takes maybe three minutes to write read the days yeah for sure you could read the devotional read a little scripture pray and you'd be 
you could 15, 10 to 15 minutes yeah. tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the goal is not to speed through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if that's all you have, then that's good. That's yes. better than nothing. Yes, so. yeah, yeah. And it doesn't take, I guess the point I tra- was trying to make is it doesn't take like 20, 30 minutes yeah. of deep study, you no. know, even just those little tidbits that are kind of pouring into you. Um, which kind of goes along with the, there is one practice that I like that is actually, um, very limited in reading is you can find, um, uh, what are called Lectio Divina studies. Um, and you can find some online and Mm -hmm. it'll take just a phrase or a sentence and the rhythm you can find things on it is that you're going to read that over and over and over again. It might even ask you to write it over and over again, to speak it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Um, to just kind of marinate on that Mm -hmm. because then the idea is that you spend enough time with that little tidbit that throughout the day you're just kind of constantly kind of marinating on it Mm -hmm. and it may be some like little truth about you know it may say like um his loving kindness never fails and it may just be that right Mm -hmm. and so you're just reminding yourself over and over again Hmm. throughout the day um I, i think that's a cool practice um i think the best resource today in the world that we live in is the Bible app. I mean, if you don't have the Bible app on your phone, I don't know what you're doing with yourself because <laughs> it not only is an incredible tool. I don't have the Bible app What? On my phone. I don't need it. Oh, man. <laughs> I never, I put it on. I found I never used it, so I took it's, it off. It's, I mean, like, I there's mean, like. I'm not downselling it. L- it's just, I just. Little tools like to challenge your <laughs> like if you're <laughs> if you're if you're um, you know if you're not familiar with the Bible, you can alphabetize the table of contents. So if Ooh, you're in church or you're at a thing, that is helpful. And yeah, and you need and they to have find things called indexes in the Bible yes, too. Yes, yes, table of contents. Can, you can yes, use that as well. <laughs> um, but also, you have access to like 125 different translations, so you can find one that sure. is comfortable for you. There's and if you're super resources. familiar with the Bible. I always think that it's cool that you can jump to a different version that feels less familiar, so it kind of catches you a little fresh. Mm. Um, but Two other things are awesome about it is, I don't know, in like 20 different translations, um, uh, there's audio versions. So okay. that's what I was saying about like if you're if it's part of your just like your commute to work, yeah, for you sure. can pull it out and mm-hmm. you can hit play mm-hmm. and it'll read you the Bible while you're driving. They have like dramatized versions yes. too where people, there's different voices for different characters and they have sound effects in the background. <laughs> yes. Those are the ones I like because <laughs> I get bored of somebody monotoning along and so if there's some dramatic things in there, I'm like, oh, that's funny. Yes. Yeah. And then and then they have built into the app tons of constant changing Bible reading plans. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, at the start of the year, they'll have ones about like a fresh start and they'll have ones that are 21 days and ones Mm -hmm. that are 40 days and one that's Mm -hmm. seven days, you know, all of the things out there for and topical, you could do a topical one. Yeah. Just did one subject all the time. And then you can do, if you're on the Bible app, you can do it with other people. So you have some accountability. And it, it, so there's just, there's so many resources out there. Almost too much. I think <laughs> it's too much because I think it gets overwhelming, especially if you don't know anything. Yeah. Trying to swim in that pool is tough. Which probably brings us down to our point, mm-hmm. which I would say if you're new to Bible reading mm-hmm. or devotional kind of stuff and you like paper versions, I don't think that you can get better than. Uh, my utmost first highest. And there's all kinds of other ones too. But I mean, if we're going to point them towards one thing, sure. right? If you like tech and you like being on your phone, you like everything to be mm-hmm. movable, getting the Bible app and, and go in with whatever they suggest for mm-hmm. you first um, mm-hmm. is, is going to be solid, good. And the and point is just do something. Yes. Do something. Yes. You know, uh, you the Bible is a beautiful book. It's got a lot of layers and facets to it, and a devotional is never going to cover all those facets, but at least you're getting, you're just starting to dive down. And to that, I would say it's better if you're getting into it to start with a devotional than just <laughs> open your Bible and start reading because I, yes, I you'll get much. so lost, uh-huh. right? Um, I, I don't know about the the theology weight of this, but um, uh, Andy Stanley once said that all of Scripture is equally inspired. It is not all equally applicable, right? 
And, and what he meant by that is you can end up, especially in the Old Testament, you can end up in some really weird spots yeah. that it's hard to sort out, like, what does this like, mean for what me? What did he just say to do? Yes, yes. <laughs> and so, so finding a guide, mm -hmm. whether through the Bible app, Oswald Chamber, or another uh, classic devotional mm -hmm. is, is a great tool. And so we agree. hope that you'll, if you're not, you'll find a resource, mm -hmm. maybe find some friends and do it with them. Mm -hmm. um, for sure. And, and get yourself into the Word. Mm -hmm. Love you guys.